tracers. Uh, it is my privilege today to be the one to guide you through the process of collecting your bounty on XDAI. Uh, this is a staging environment. Uh, this is not yet live, so don't go rushing to this URL and, and trying to uh, get your tokens yet. Uh, but uh, however, we will be rolling this out tomorrow. So uh, let's go through ins and outs so that you can be successful tomorrow, I guess. So we are starting uh, by clicking the, the main call to action here, which is claim bounty on XDAI. And here we are again, uh, slowly going through some important pieces of information you need to be aware of. And uh, the first one being that we do need uh, a little bit of personal information in order to be eligible to send bounty to you for some legal requirements. Um, also be mindful that you need to use only the wallet you actually use to stake trace. You cannot use any other one. Uh, also be mindful that um, the, it, it can take up to uh, two, three days for us to review all uh, the applications. So please be patient. Uh, once you come to this part when you need to actually collect your tokens from XDAI, uh, there will be uh, some uh, additional work you need to do with MetaMask. You need to add XDAI in blockchain through the uh, with the RPC endpoint. You need, you need to add it to your MetaMask. And but more on that later, I will actually guide you through and show you how it's done. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, also, yeah. So regarding the amount of bounty tokens, uh, since we reached the hard cap of the hundred million. Uh, actually will be receiving a 5% of the uh, amount that you actually staked before. So it's a pretty easy calculation. You can, you, can, um, you can pretty much easily calculate how much you get. Uh, then you need to accept terms and conditions and privacy policy, and then we are off. Uh, so we are starting. You need to first provide the uh, valid email address, address onto which we can actually send the link for you to continue this process. So I'll put my email. And then I will check my inbox. So in my inbox, I actually received a, a verify email to continue the process. So here uh, uh, I, get, I get actually the link and I get the information about uh, what comes after this one. So you can read that afterwards. So I confirm the email, I come to this interface, and here I actually uh, need to connect my wallet. Uh, in this occasion, my wallet is actually already connected. It's the wallet that is uh, used for staking, uh, in this case, on testnet. So you can see this uh, ring B uh, network here on the Ethereum blockchain. So I just need to click Connect MetaMask, and here I need to add some personal information. Okay, so there are some yeah some dummy details there, but let's go through this for the demo purposes. And then I actually received this um, this notification that what I mentioned earlier that you need to um, be mindful that it can take a few a few days for us to uh, kind of process all the applications. And also, if you stake a track from multiple wallets, you can uh, you can actually click here. I will not do this now, but and uh, register those wallets as well. So this is just the 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 most general use case now. So actually, I will go uh, now and uh, and uh, and send email and whitelist myself for this purposes now, so that we can go through this demo. I'll check my inbox again and here. Yeah, so this is a kind of test uh, email here again. Here I get the information that uh, my information uh, is valid and that I am eligible to go and complete the process of collecting my tokens. So here I go to this link again. I have the same the same details here and again. I have to connect the MetaMask uh, with XDAI blockchain this time. Um, so Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm starting with Ring B, and then I connect MetaMask, but now I need, actually need to set up XDAI uh, by uh, inputting details for the custom RPC through the MetaMask. So the, here is a, one uh, screenshot that can actually help you, but I'll actually go through the process here so that you can all 
uh, have an easier time later. So here from the drop down of networks, I use the custom RPC. Network name is X die. Um, yeah, you need to. It's it's a bit um, tedious, uh, but please go and type type it in. Don't try copy pasting because you will lose progress made. So please just X die chain dot com slash then we move further so chain id is zero x six four symbol is x die and then block explorer yeah that's it Ah, sorry, so I made a typo here. Yeah, okay, it's good now. Save. And uh, yeah, I go and click just this thing. And network. And yeah, I have the XDI network here now. So I actually when I when I select the XDI network here, I get the information here that my active network is now XDI and not Ringby. So that's what we wanted to achieve. And actually, uh, if I scroll back and see the, the previous card as well, it's again, it's XDI. So we can move on. I can check the connection. So now just, just another check. And uh, here I actually get uh, that my bounty for this particular wallet is uh, 10,000 track on the XDI blockchain. So I just click connect tokens. I need to wait. I need to confirm here. And pretty much that should be it. Yeah, should be it. Yeah, that's it. Co uh, bounty collection is also pretty much uh, I get the transaction link actually. And uh, on the block scout, I can actually see this transaction. So on that will be kind of the and I, here I can see that it's uh, 10,000 uh, extract tokens. So that that's that's the entire demo. Um, yeah, thank you guys for your attention and uh, trace on.